everybody my name is Baloo and welcome to the jungle this is the channel where we take a very simple approach to technical analysis we look at the price in the context of volume using the Wyckoff method if that is something that interests you then why don't you hit the subscribe button I do this every single day except for the days that I don't so in today's video another coin request from the market a lot of people interested in what is going on in Cardano and uh, I'm not surprised because Cardano has been kind of sitting in the background for a while it's a fantastic project a lot of people love Cardano they're doing a lot of very interesting things and there are a lot of institutional interests that are accumulating Cardano and have been doing so for months so we're gonna take a look at the uh, price chart and we're gonna see what we can see so let's not waste any more time let's just jump right into Cardano here Eighty eight, eighty eight, eighty eight. Where are you? Oh, basically, I should almost be doing live streams. None, none of this stuff ever gets cut out. Where is Cardano? There it is. Okay. Let's zoom out onto the daily. Let's take a look at what's going on with the trend. Okay, so the trend is up. This is good. We are in an uptrend with Cardano. The momentum is taking a, a long time, but the overall trend with Cardano is up. This is good. Uh, we are making, you know, as you can see here, we made a low, then we made a high, then we made a higher low, and uh, now we have a higher high. This is really good. Trend analysis complete. I often do my trend analysis on the daily. You want a lot of information, just zoom out. Look at the trend. Are we going up? Are we going sideways? Are we going down? That's that's step number one. Now we'll drop into the lower time frames and take a look at the accumulation range that's happened here. So we had this uh, supply start to come in here. I'll try and clean this up as best I can here. So we had a lot of supply. You could see the increase in supply here. We had this preliminary supply event right here. You can see that right here. The preliminary supply is a kind of a, a point of interest for me uh, because you can see that there was a, a respect of that level uh, as it came in for support. So this is a significant support slash resistance flip on this preliminary supply level here. Buyer's climax, automatic reaction, secondary test. That's phase A. Phase A sets the range. After that, you try to move the trading range to try and fit as much of the price action inside uh, keeping a little bit more of a bias to the earlier sides of the trading range and then looking for backups and, and stuff like that to, to get to fit as well. So something like that is what I was looking at. And uh, we have a contraction of the supply. So you can see the supply overall is contracting, okay? We have contracting supply, a little bit of a blip here. What is this blip? Well, the blip is the is the move out of a, of a backup phase. So the chart is looking really healthy. And this is really confluent with what I'm seeing on some of the indexes. So Cardano is a mid cap coin. It's it's in the top 10, top 20. I, I don't know if it's top 10. Maybe it is top 10. Um, it's in the top 20 for sure. So there's a lot of institutional interest in those assets. Anything that's in the top 20, there are institutions buying it. There are whales buying it. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background. This is a beautiful accumulation range. We got a nice shakeout here. This, uh, this was a lot of volatility early in phase B, and then it contracted. We found beautiful support once, twice, three times off of the preliminary supply level. And right on that, we have a tiny little spring touching the bottom, and we've been in markup ever since. So this is looking really, really healthy. I like this. I like this a lot. This is a very tradable asset, and it has a huge potential for markup. Nothing you hear on this channel is financial advice. These videos are purely for educational purposes only. They are here for you to kind of get into the mindset of a Wyckoffian and how we, we interpret the price um, inside of these trading reins, how we place trades without using indicators. And uh, this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for. So if I was to, you know, it looks as though we're finding support here on this previous high. I have an alarm set here. I guess I don't need that anymore. So I'll just erase that. But we're finding um, support here. This is really good. So if we can hold this as support, uh, you might want to enter a position here. Now, all eyes on Bitcoin. A lot of volatility inside of Bitcoin right now. I wouldn't be surprised to get a little bit of a move down. 
uh, Bitcoin does control the space. I wish more of these assets were decorrelated to Bitcoin, but it's just the nature of things. You know, it's 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 just the way it is. We are not isolated from the movements of Bitcoin. We move with Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin takes a move down, we could revisit the lower levels of the range and get another test and then continue markup. But if we do hold this level, if we do hold this level here, you know, getting in any at any price around 16218, something like that, uh, with a with a healthy stop loss for the swing traders. If you're more aggressive, go aggressive. But I tend to not be. Uh, I tend to be very aggressive actually at these levels when Bitcoin's so uncertain. So, you know, my stop is either do or die at around three three percent, maybe five percent. But if you did want to have a safer stop loss, you would have to bring it down inside of the range at around fifteen percent. What that means is your risk to reward ratio is a lot less. You have to risk less. You have to put less money on the line to maintain that same loss profile that you would have if you were. Um, if you were uh, going aggressive as well. So uh, keep that in mind. You know, these assets are really volatile. Things can change very, very quickly, but the price looks good. I love the volume. I love the price structure. I think that things look really good inside of Cardano right now from a technical point of view. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm seeing in the charts. Charts are irrational. They're not a crystal ball. It's not to predict the future. It's not to give you a direction. It's to give you a perceived edge and help you make an entry based on your bias. We're in an uptrend. We can only assume that we will keep going up until that trend is destroyed. And right now that trend is not destroyed. So that is all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed the content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there are any projects that you would like me to take a look at, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to also take a look at the Discord in the description, uh, yeah, linked inside of the description. Huge community full of a lot of really good traders. Uh, we got a lot of free materials teaching the Wyckoff method. And until next time, please trade safe. It is a jungle out there. Peace. Stop.